All right, guys, welcome back to Weekend Smile. Let's be real, right? Being nice is something that we're taught from birth, but does it hinder success? Who? Yes, I benefit from somebody being nice, right? So we discuss this with the help of an article from lifehack.org. Let's discuss it. All right, so. Okay. Break yes. it down. It says, being nice is something we're taught from birth. As I said before, when you're three, you've not grasped that, uh, you know, barging someone out of the way for the red bike is considered impolite. So an mm -hmm. adult says, play nice. Yeah. And we learn that it's a good thing. But fast forward 20 years and suddenly being too nice can get you in trouble. Okay. It can even stop you from earning a good salary, finding true love or inventing something you believe in true so what? the article is saying it says maybe you wanted to look like a team player didn't have the confidence to say that looks dangerous stupid or way out of my comfort zone yeah or were desperately in love with them but hadn't plucked up the courage to say what you felt but it's not a nice thing though if it's <laughs> like somebody wants to say, listen me like you i'm gonna swung go forward right no here. but i mean but it's so interesting because this this article is somewhat saying the opposite of what our parents and grandparents said to have taught us, which is um, you, you catch more bees with honey. Mm -hmm. So meaning you get through in life more by being nice. Whereas this one is saying, well, you know, if you're too nice, it might just ruin your success and your chances of being great and accomplishing and getting what it is that you exactly want. But I don't feel like you have to step on anybody's toes and to be rude to actually you know, be successful. You think so, Debbie? Like you? No, I don't. I, for, for me, I believe in boundaries. I believe that, um, again, it, so there's a difference. There's a staunch difference between being nice and also, you know, just being true to a moment, true to yourself, true to mm -hmm. your boundaries and true to... Of course, you respect. Yeah. So from, we all interpret things differently. So for me, something that I would think is just, all right, let me respect your boundary. Maybe disrespectful to you. Like, right. how, who are you to tell me that I can't have what I want in this moment? But for me, it's a boundary. Yeah. You can't have that. Yeah. You know? And so it you know, becomes a, a matter of, um, you know, the interrelating and how that works. Definitely. Um, at the end of the day. Who going to get? Who going to suffer? I guess if you so, want to say. So apparently, based on this article, it says um, that did you know that nice people are more likely to earn less money? Did you know that being nice can make you more stressed? Like you know, less likely to get promoted as well, more likely to suffer a burnout. So you're yes, always saying yes. Yes, yes, you yes. You can't yes, be yes. a yes person, you know, right? No. So, but but saying no is not being mean no but that's a, that's the thing as well is about how we're interpreting things so yeah. maybe if i say no to you you will look at it like oh debbie doesn't want to be a team player but for me it's just a no because right now me cannot give yeah and my cup are empty yeah and we need my cup full up so we can give from a full cup then you have mentally and physically ill and it even can impact your ability to get your to-do list done so Very i true. think that finding a balance between being a yes man and a yes person versus knowing your boundaries as you mentioned and saying no sometimes and knowing when to say no exactly is actually important and the people you know? who actually mean you well will understand and respect your boundaries as right. well you know because so, they understand that we're not here to just fit in everybody's size yeah. at the moment we, we can't do that we're not that we we're not robots make up like that. and another thing is that you know everybody's life is made up differently yeah and everybody always have things going on in them life so i mean you know yeah. sometimes we just have a kind and i can know, also say, nicely ask for what i'm worth you know so that doesn't mean that you know, I'm not going to get, going to get, you know, the payment that I deserve. I can yeah. actually say, well, you know, I'd love to, but yeah. my rate is. <laughs> Preach to the choir, Debbie. <laughs> Preach to the choir. Is, I would love to do it, but my rate is. Oh, God. Well, you know, I mean, I think, as you say, it's really just finding a balance. But I don't know if it will just ruin your success and your happiness. Because once you've found that hard. balance, you know oh. your worth. Um, you know your value and you know that, guess what? This is my boundaries and this is where I kind of cut off, then I don't think it should be an issue one. And then two, as it relates to success, I don't really feel like you always have to be mean to anybody or step on anybody. So because you, sometimes your work speaks for itself. You know, your work speaks for, you, you speak for yourself and, and once people can see that, then exactly. it will come through. Exactly. So I exactly. don't think, um, exactly. you know. Well, you know, um, being nice, you know, as a matter, I think it all boils down to being respectful. You're not going to please everybody. You're not going to be 
um, the kind of person that's going to be right in everybody's eyes. You can't, as Crystal Tomlinson says, be everybody's cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Some people are mean, some, that's some people are coffee. That's Queenie. Yes, yeah, son. That's Queenie. No, no man, Crystal, can't be everybody's no man, cup of Crystal tea. Crystal Tomlinson had been an extensive thing Okay, I thought you were talking about Queenie. No, man. She can't be everybody's cup of tea because she's not involved. Chris had done the whole breakdown of ginger tea, mint tea, coffee, which was... You know, it was beautifully done. And yeah. so it's true. You, you can't be all things to all men. The Bible said it. So, um, you know, you have, right. you, have, you have to just be respectful. So once Definitely. you're respectful, and I can respectfully tell you no. I can respectfully say to you at this time, this is not the direction I'm going in. Mm -hmm. And at this time, I can't do that. Yeah. So, you know, and if you want to be rowdy about it, you know. But then, you know, sometimes they're saying the downside is... So the downside might be that you're not aggressive enough. You weren't hungry enough to advance, you know, or to get that advance that you want. But you don't, you, you don't have to be hungry or power hungry to get what you want, you know? Yeah. But guys, you heard what we were talking about, you know? Can, can that really affect your success and, and happiness, you know? I don't know. Let us know in the comments, right? Let us know in the comment section what you think. But we'll be soon, well, we'll be back soon, guys, with more We Can Smile after the break.